Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard and today we're going to do things a little bit differently. I brought along my PRS style shooting bag. I've got my FX Impact M3 fitted with an Accutec bipod. The trick for today is not to use that bipod but to only use my bag and the gun and obviously whatever the farm gives me to shoot from. And this is what I call a PRS style hunt. So let's go out there and let's get started. Lovely. What a lovely shot. Ooh. Solid heat. Straight up. Super dead. Gun setup for today is the FX Impact M3 Sniper Edition. Inside the barrel is a Superior Heavy Slug Liner. Ammo for today is a 34 grain H&N Slug, which I'm shooting at 1000 feet per second. To keep things quiet, a Donny FL Ronin Silencer. For air, I'm running a 700cc 300 bar carbon bottle. From Sabre Tactical, a mini Arca rail and adjustable buttstock at the back. Optics, Element Nexus, I absolutely love the scope. Bipod, Acutech, aftermarket AR grip here from the guys from Anarchy. The PRS bag I'm running today, I got from Peter from Impact Shooting. For camera system today, I'm running the SideShot GoPro system from the boys from SideShot. Lovely. Love it, Starlings go down. Perfect, down. Lovely. Down he goes. For the guys who's doing long range shooting and you can't hear the impact upon the steel gong, now there is a light that will indicate to you that you've hit your target. A good friend of mine called Diewald has sent me a little unit to try out today. It will indicate an impact upon a steel target for you via a small light that is flashing, like this. That's pretty awesome. This is something that I will definitely use. I love to do long range shooting and I'm pretty sure you guys will see this unit still in upcoming videos. Devald also has a YouTube channel called Gunning for Fun 
where he does a lot of air gun shooting and air gun hunting so you guys can go check it out i'll put a link down here below and he is the brain power behind this unit which i'm showing you here today done I'm at the night yards. Seventy one. Crack that one straight in the chest. Let's make things a little bit interesting. I'm going to not put my bipod out, I'm going to keep to the PRS style and see if I can put five down there uh, on paper for you and let's see how that group looks like. Let's put the scope cam on here, there we go. Let's go for the bottom. One, two, three, ah, oh, I pulled that one, four, five <laughs> not bad eh? not bad so there's my five shots I'm gonna just zoom in there for you there we go and there is my thumbnail next to that one two three four five and that's out at 80 yards not bad at all I definitely pulled this one here but uh, that's on me that's not the ammo or the gun down he goes perfect shot Beautiful shot. <laughs> I love that smack. Lovely. Gun tune for today is very, very simple. Most of you guys back home will be able to do this, but there's a couple of things that you need to take note of. If you choose a slug out there, which is not gonna give you good accuracy, don't expect this gun to shoot it well. The next thing is to remember to put the right liner inside this barrel. For slugs, I will advise stick to the superior heavy slug liners. For pellets, go for that superior liner. From here, you wanna start doing your regulator pressure, slugs, do love high rec pressures. Anything from 155 bar to 165 bar will give you good results. Once you set your rec pressure, you can go to your hammer adjustment, start at the bottom, start clicking up that hammer until you get to desired speed. I will recommend between 900 feet per second and 1000 feet per second. That is the range where slugs is happy and that is where they wanna live. Especially when you have decent ammo. I can't say that enough. You don't have decent ammo, you're not going to get decent results. 
once you get the velocity done you can go fine tune your gun you can work with that micro adjuster and with a valve in the front and that's the way that i've set up this gun as well today down Smoked him. Smoked that one. Super dead. Unfortunately, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for you guys today. If you like it, remember to smash that like button down below. And for all the new guys watching, if you want to see more, remember to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.